Hello guys, Nato Ace here. I'm gonna give my impression of two Nintendo products related to Super Mario Brothers. What are the products I'm gonna give my impression of? The first is Super Mario World figure, spike top. I think I've seen this in New Super Mario Brothers, but the bigger one is the Super Mario Brothers movie Van Places. So first, the spike top, cute, kind of like an alternate spiny, but you know, it is what it is there. So I bought this van thinking that it might be good to be like sort of a placement for my Amiibo collection. However, when I realized first how it's really not that big than I thought, because look at the figure. It's the size of a poly pocket, but it is what it is. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna open it and give my impression for these two Mario items. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. So first of all, we'll start with the spike top. So here it is. Looks like a, like an alternate spiny. But the interesting part here is that the legs itself, it's sort of articulated. You can actually move it. So that's not bad. I mean, you can only move a limit like distance, but you know, it's not bad sculpture, not bad at all. So yeah, spiked up, nothing else to say. So the biggest one here is the Super Mario van. So like I said, here's the figure, the head and the arms are articulated. There goes Chris Pratt, the movie style Mario. And the leg doesn't look like it's articulated, yeah. So again, Polly Pocket, not really amiibo size there, but that's what it is. So. You might be saying, well, why is it that the Mario is so small, but the van is big? And by the way, the van, the wheels actually move, so it's not that bad. So, of course, if you look at the back, there is another feature about this. And this is the other feature for the Super Mario Brothers van. So, it looks like that they are a particular different world for this one. So, you get a haunted level, a pipe level in the clouds sewer level and of course the mushroom level of course the play set there's pocket poly mario there so there are figures that you can actually buy extra ones and you probably gonna complement this play set so if those things get in the sale i might get them but like i said i thought it was good for a mario play set well maybe sort of but let's see oh, here's my 8-bit mario yeah it's too big and if we put it here, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it is what it is. There you go, maybe I'll put it. Let's see, let's put it here in the mushroom field. Sure, it's like giant Mario. All right. <laughs> Can't do squat about it, but it is what it is. There. But there you go. Here it is. My impression for it, for the Super Mario van. And it's actually not bad, it's a good place set. It is for kids. Yes, adults buy them because it's their memory, makes sense. But to some extent, like, is it a good compliment for your Amiibo stand? Probably not, but it's a good playset. Good for playing it with your kids, showing them about the Super Mario Brothers franchise and its legacy there. So anyway, those are my impression. Both of them are good. The spike top, not bad. It's actually a bit of articulation. The Mario van, it is a good playset to some extent doesn't go well with amiibo to some extent unless you're very creative but hey the van itself you can use it as a van because the wheel moves just saying there so those are my impression with that i'll see you guys later